Hi. My name is Pastor Calvin. And at this time, we're going to share in communion, the Lord's Supper. Reading from 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 32. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the name in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had take, given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread and, or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in so doing he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. The Lord gave these instructions directly to Paul, and he heard the directions. We do it in remembrance of the work of Christ on the cross. What he did on Calvary for us, we are to proclaim his death and resurrection on Jesus until Jesus returns. Do not take this sacrament lightly. That is to say, in an unworthy manner. Examine your heart and the motives and eat of it. As one takes a bread, it represents his body that was beaten and whipped so that we might be healed. This small wafer is symbolic of the body of Christ, on which he took upon for us pain and sickness. Let's partake of it. Going back to verse 25, in the same way he took the cup also after supper, saying, This is a cup of the new covenant in my blood. As often as you drink it in remembrance of me. As one takes the cup, it represents his blood in an unbreakable covenant that frees us from, the sin, from sin and binds us to him forever. For he is ours and we are his. When you partake of this cup, remember that he's coming back for us again. And that he looks forward to participating with us and enjoying the new covenant come to fulfillment. Drink with me. Let's close in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you. Because of the work that you have done, Lord Jesus, that we get to participate in the work that your ongoing work here on earth. We take these sacraments, Lord Jesus, knowing, Lord, that you poured out your life so that we can have a hand in your kingdom. We belong to you, Lord Jesus. And our lives are yours. And you have collected us to yourselves so that we may truly enjoy this covenant, Lord Jesus, for when you come to fulfill it. In Jesus' name, amen.
Thank you.